amid the AIG outrage, the question remains, who ruined the insurance giant? On Capitol Hill this week, the current CEO blamed previous management. So that's who we tracked down. I sat down with Hank Greenberg, the first CEO who put the current compensation structure in place and who created the division responsible for the losses. If you were still CEO, would you have paid out the bonuses? Absolutely not. Hank Greenberg built AIG into the largest insurance company in the world. After nearly 40 years at the helm, he was ousted in 2005 amid an accounting scandal. He claims retention bonuses started after he left. When I was there, nobody had a contract in the company, including me. Didn't believe in them. If you didn't do the job, you didn't deserve to be there. There were no contracts. No contracts? No guaranteed bonuses? No, never. We had a bonus plan based on performance. If you didn't perform, there were no bonuses. Three CEOs followed Greenberg, but he singles out Edward Liddy, the government-appointed boss who denied blame this week on Capitol Hill. In reviewing how AIG has been run in prior years, I've also seen evidence of its bad side. Mistakes were made at AIG on a scale few could have ever imagined possible. When we heard from Edward Liddy on Capitol Hill this week, he seemed to imply that a lot of the mistakes at AIG were made when you were CEO. <laughs> Do you accept any responsibility for Absolutely what's happened? Absolutely not. It was the greatest company in history. In the insurance industry, there wasn't anything like it. How does a man who ran a small automobile insurance company, a one-line type of insurance company, he wouldn't be on anybody's list to run AIG. Are you saying Edward Liddy should be fired? I think he should be replaced. You'd call it what you want. You make, you make it sound like, like a bunch of people who had no grip on reality have been running AIG since you left. You know, that's a pretty good description. Do you think the managers at AIG are guilty of something criminal? I don't know what's criminal. I think it's stupidity. Should they be punished? Well, do we punish stupidity? I don't know. Uh, those who are investigating should determine whether or not there was just stupidity, was there fraud, was there whatever. In fact, investigators are looking into whether this man committed fraud. Joseph Cassano, appointed by Greenberg to run AIG Financial Products, the unit responsible for the losses. Cassano has hired a lawyer. Do you think he should hire a lawyer? He probably would have hired two or three. We should note that AIG completely counters Mr. Greenberg's claims. According to them, quote, it's absolutely astounding that Mr. Greenberg would claim that he never put in place retention agreements. His entire long-term management compensation was a retention agreement. Julie, they say he has an interesting recollection of the past. 